what's it like on I-70 right now? Well, it smells like hot shit. In Illinois, another gas stop. They have a clogging event. You'll stop somewhere in Kentucky. I needed to put a pin on the map and designate a point that would pull me forward. Something that would be a beacon, a guidepost to a place. It would be the gravity that would pull me over 2,200 miles from home in Florida. It would be the longest walk to the corner I had ever taken. Four places in one, four states at one GPS coordinate, and a moment to anticipate. Well, I'm leaving Colorado Springs and I'm about 60 miles from 70, the interstate, to head east. So I'm going to start crossing the country. It's about 1,400, 13, 1,400 miles to the mountains of North Carolina, over 2,000 home. So I'm most likely going to stop in North Carolina for a few days to enjoy some more twisties, the lush green forest there in the mountains, maybe catch some changing of the leaves, although it might be a bit early. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting in the zone on the motorcycle on the interstate. Just going to be still at 80 miles an hour and make my way east. Time to get going. Probably spend the next uh, three to five days. Three days getting there. Maybe three and a half. And then um, see if I'm going the right way. Three days getting there and a couple days riding around. Go get some gas in Colorado Springs. Well, I'm gassed up and ready to go. It's amazing. Yesterday was such a hard ride. I was ready just to like get my motorcycle into the garage at home back in Florida and call it a day, even though I had thousands of miles to go. And today, the sun, the sun is shining. The temperature is great. So it's awesome to be on the bike and have a plan and a destination. And I'm just going to settle in for the hundreds and hundreds of miles ahead of me before I get to some place more familiar. Look at that sky. Just beautiful sky blue. Now the road is straight for the next 61 miles and then it's interstate. No exaggeration, the rain gear was on at least 10 of the 13 days. Like four corners pulled me out here and now I'm feeling the pull of uh, North Carolina and something different. Well, I'm within less than two and a half miles of the interstate, 1,287 miles to Western North Carolina, 20 more hours plus to go. There's only one direction to go in, and that's east. And I-70 East. Here we go. Hundreds and hundreds of miles on one road. I don't even have a waypoint plugged in, just North Carolina. So I'll figure it out as I go. I needed that pit stop. Back on the highway, the temperature's heating up. Took off, took off a layer, and here I go. Flatness. Just east. This is the first turn. It's like bending the road from dozens of miles. Just buzzing along. Well, I just left colorful Colorado and there should be a Kansas sign coming up any second. And there goes the Kansas sign. Here comes it. And there goes it. Whoa, look at that crosswind. That was crazy. All right. Subways in Kansas for lunch.
took a nice long break in the air conditioning, lunch, cleaned all the bugs off the shield of the helmet. We'll see how long that lasts as I cross these high plains with all this farmland. All the vents in my jacket are open. It's 87 degrees, a 48 degree swing. Yesterday afternoon, it was 39 degrees raining at the top of Cottonwood Pass, up and down that pass, it was that cold and wet. 1,172 miles to Fontana Village in North Carolina and the Moonshiner, 28. And it's not about putting the miles, just putting miles on and sitting for hours. It's the weather, battling the cold, the heat, the rain, the sun. So what's it like on I-70 right now? Well, it smells like hot shit. It's a combination of the fertilizer and all the fields and the heat. Hot shit, it's stinky. It's hot, it's a straight line. Hot shit. Time for the weather report. Time for that weather report. Oh, back to 92, it was 94 for a while. Oh joy. Oh joy. 95 degrees. Now I'm behind the cattle truck. <laughs> hot shit, hot shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Hot shit. Oh. Oh my goodness. Fucking crazy. 95 and hot shit. Hamburger. Hamburger. Oh, I don't want to be hamburger. Oh man. Oh. Um, 366 miles into this ride. I lost an hour today going from west to east and uh, crossing the plains of Kansas. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to get off here in Junction City, Kansas. I'm here in Junction City, Kansas, 450 plus miles today, 900 more to go to uh, Nantahala Forest in North Carolina. And I'm gonna go check in out of this sweaty gear and um, find something to eat. I'm walking to get some dinner. No freaking sidewalks here. Now the Mexican place that's packed in the middle of nowhere. Still working. I'm getting the bike ready. I'm in Junction City, Kansas. Came from Colorado Springs yesterday. And uh, today I'm heading in the direction of Nashville. Don't know if I'll get all the way there just yet. Setting up the GPS now, today. But um, tomorrow, my goal is by the end of day tomorrow to be in uh, by Fontana Village. So that's the goal. If it's it, goes another day or so that's that's cool also just gonna take my time and buzz on the interstate boom gas break banana from the hotel. I just went through Kansas City, Kansas, which becomes Kansas City, Missouri. Not too far down the road from there. Heading in the direction of St. Louis, Missouri. It's the next big milestone. Buzzing along on the interstate. I know there's so much to explore in these places if I just get away from the interstate. But um, I don't know, I just don't have the desire. No, maybe that's my shortcoming, traveling too fast. Maybe it's my 
strong desire to get to a place familiar, you know, which is North Carolina, closer to home. Whatever it is, I just gotta go with what I'm feeling and um, I don't have the inclination to explore in Kansas and Missouri. And I know I'm missing a lot of stuff in that experience, but I'm excited to get to Nantahala Forest and, and be in a place that's a bit familiar, closer to home and great riding and awesome weather. So that's what I'm gonna do. In Illinois, another gas stop today. The last last one of the day, almost 450 miles. Well, another day of 450 miles. I went from Junction City, Kansas to Mount Vernon, Illinois. I rode through Kansas, Missouri, and into Illinois. Um, exactly 450 miles, third of the way to uh, Fontana Village in North Carolina. So that's my goal for tomorrow. I gotta check if they have availability. If not, there's plenty of stuff nearby, so I'm not worried. Um, I'm gonna go unpack as usual, charge devices, find something to eat. And that was a long day on the road again. But um, Mantala Forest is calling me and pulling me forward. Looking forward to it. Luggage cart, magic. Could unload in one shot, neatly packed. I just called Fontana Village and there is no availability. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's the uh, end of September. I was just gonna waltz into the changing of the leaves at Fontana on a weekend and book a room. I got on the waiting list. They have a clogging event there. Maybe that's a factor. It's a big group clogging. Anyway, that would be fun to get a room there and see what's going on. I'm going to have to go back after dinner and check out a bunch of places online. Otherwise, you know, I'll go to Asheville or Black Mountain or Little Switzerland or somewhere, but I got to decide anyway. I just got a, a room outside of Robbinsville on the lake. And uh, so I have a place to stay for the next two or three nights. I booked two, I'll see if I like it, spend three nights. So I'm gonna have some breakfast and just do the ride. No pressure on finding a place, which is pretty cool since a lot of places were uh, booked this time of year and on the weekend, obviously. So a good rate and a beautiful location. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna get going and grab some coffee. I'm going to lose an hour today on the road, so that gets me in a bit late, hopefully while it's still daylight out, because the last bit of the ride, literally the last 20 minutes of the ride, 30 minutes of the ride, is over tail of the dragon, so that'll be after doing 420 miles. Well, I'm excited to get to North Carolina. Fuel stop somewhere in Kentucky, about a hundred and something miles to uh, Nashville, and a bunch of hours to North Carolina. But I'm going to keep listening to some good tunes, keep my eyes on the road, and tonight I'll be sleeping by a lake in the mountains of North Carolina in the Natahala Forest.
I'm on 129. I'm going to ride over the Dragon. It's about 30 minutes to sunset is the only route just uh, to get to the hotel. I just rode 430 miles, so I'm going to take it slow. And it's a beautiful evening. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting to my lodging. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, have some something to drink, and get in the game. So it was a long day, but I'm, it's a home stretch. And then I'm going to take a bunch of nights here in this area. It's beautiful and quiet. I'm going to cross into North Carolina in a few minutes. and just threw everything down. I gotta clean it up now so I have a place to sleep. My room is very patriotic. What an amazing location and place. Wow, I pulled in at sunset here. She was closing up, but she made me a wonderful salad, brought me some beers, sandwich, and uh, I'm sitting outside, and there's the lake. Can't really see it with this shot, but I'm just so happy to be off the bike and successful journey. I'm going to spend three days here for, for sure. Peace and love, gratitude. I'm spent, I'm knackered, I'm shattered, I'm exhilarated. I'm joyous, I'm grateful. What a surreal experience. <laughs>